it's hello here on the island. Welcome to Lola's Lanai. Now what? Guess what? It's the greatest resort on the whole island. I'm Rosa, and I live here with my grandmother, Lola. I just call her Lola. <laughs> okay, so we live right here at Lola's Lanai. I love when new friends come to visit. So welcome to our island home. <laughs> I'm really glad you came here. Know what? When you come to stay with me and Lola, we want you to feel like family. Would you like to be my family? Yes! <laughs> oh, goody! And guess what else? Here on the island, we call our family Ohana. Can you say that with me? Ohana! Ohana. That's it. Ohana means family. We are one big family, even if we don't live in the same house or share the same mom and dad. Hey, I know what we need to do. We need to celebrate you being my Ohana. Stand up like me and let's sing a song. sit down. <laughs> so maybe Lola Slanai looks different than where you live. Know what? I want to show you something. Look, we have lots of pretty flowers and big waves that crash on the shore. Oh, I almost forgot. Lola has two rules for all of our Ohana at the Lanai. They're really good rules too. <laughs> Rule number one is to be kind. Can you wave at me with one hand and say, be kind? Be kind. Yay! Lola says that families listen to each other. One way you can be kind to your ohana is by listening to each other. And rule two is be safe. Everyone wave at me with the other hand and say, be safe. Be safe. Okay, so the island is full of amazing things. But there are some things that could hurt you if you aren't careful. So, Hana, <laughs> you can stay safe by staying close to me on our adventures and by keeping your hands to yourself along the way. That's it. Those are Lola's two rules. Easy peasy. <laughs> I say we head out on an adventure. This is one of my favorite places, and guess what? Lola asked me to bring you here. 
She wants us to collect shells so she can make decorations for special surprise. Lola said we need to collect three shells, but they can't be the same color. Hmm, Ohana, do you see any pink shells? Yes! I do too! Let's all pick one pink shell. It's fun to pretend. Pretend to pick a pink shell with me. Yay, now let's see. Hmm, do you see any blue shells around? Yeah! Here's one. You can pretend to pick one blue shell, too. Here we go. Yay! We only need one more shell, but it can't be blue or pink. Ohana, what color shell should we pick? Those are all pretty colors. See if you can find a yellow shell. Do you see any? Yeah! Me too! Let's all pick one yellow shell. Pretend with me. <laughs> I have my yellow shell, do you? Yeah! Let's count our shells to make sure we all have three. One, one two, two, three. three. Yippee! We all have three. Know what? We better get these shells back to Lola so she can use them to make the decorations for her big surprise. I have a special way to get back to the lanai. Know what it is? Do what I do and say what I say. I love the island. I love the island. And dancing the hula. And dancing the hula. So let's go back. So let's go back. To see Lola. To see Lola. Oh, look, we made it. There's Lola. Everyone say, Aloha, Lola. Aloha, Lola. <laughs> Aloha. Oh, we are so happy to have you join us on the island. And thank you for your help today. Since you're family while you're here, I want to show you some pictures from our family photo album. Okay, if you're ready to hear about your family from long ago, let me see you click on your listening ears. Click, click. click. Great! Now, you also need to put on your special eyes. Zoop, zoop. Oh, that's perfect. Now let's see. This is Ruth. She's part of our Ohana from long ago. Ohana is how we say family here on the island. Ruth lived in a place called Moab and was married to someone who was a part of God's family. One day, Ruth's husband died. Instead of going back home to her own family, Ruth stayed with Naomi, her husband's mom. Naomi's husband had died too, and Naomi wanted to go back to her hometown to live with her family. But Ruth didn't want to leave Naomi. They were family. She knew that Naomi would need help, so she decided to go with Naomi back to her hometown. Let me see you pretend to walk like Ruth and Naomi traveling. When Ruth and Naomi made it to Naomi's hometown, they needed some food. Naomi had a family member named Boaz, who was a very important man with many big fields of food to eat. To help get food, Ruth went to Boaz's fields and gathered grain that the workers dropped on the ground. Ruth worked hard from morning to night, gathering little pieces of food to help her family have food to eat. Let's all pretend to pick up small pieces of grain from the ground. One day, Boaz visited the fields and started talking to his workers. He saw Ruth working so hard and heard about how she was helping Naomi. Boaz told Ruth to come every day to collect food from his fields and drink their water when she was thirsty. Boaz could have kept all of the grain to himself but he knew Ruth needed the food, so he helped Ruth by sharing what he had with her. He told his workers to leave behind big pieces of grain that would give Ruth and Naomi plenty to eat. Everyone clapped for Boaz being such a loving helper to his family. When Ruth got home with all of the grain she had collected, 
Naomi was so happy. She knew Boaz had helped their family. Later, Boaz knew he should marry Ruth and help her and Naomi for the rest of their lives. And this is how they became part of the Ohana family God has given us. God gave you a family that loves you very much. When you choose to help others and put them first, it shows love to God and to our Ohana. Let me hear you say this after me. I can I, I can help help my family. My family. Great job. Aloha Ohana. Aloha Lola. Know what? Guess what? I love to look at our family photo album. It's one of my favorite things. I'm glad that God gave me a family I can love by helping. Helping Lola is one of my most favorite things to do. Okay, so say this after me. I can. I can. Help. Help. My family. My family. You sounded great, Ohana. I say we stand up and sing a song together to celebrate. Everyone stand up with me. Love each other, love each other, as brothers and sisters, as brothers and sisters, in honor others, in honor others, more than yourself, more than yourself. Romans 12, 10, Romans 12, 10, God gave us family we can help and love, we're gifts to each other from up above. Each other, love each other, as brothers and sisters, as brothers and sisters, and honor others, and honor others, more than yourself, more than yourself. Romans 12, 10, Romans 12, 10. God gave us family, we can help and love, we gifts to each other from up above. Each other, love each other, as brothers and sisters, as brothers and sisters, and honor others, and honor others, more than yourself, more than yourself. Romans 12, 10, Romans 12, 10. You can sit down, okay? Guess what? That fun song reminds me of a Bible verse Lola taught me. Just say it after me. Love each other. Love each other. As brothers. As brothers. And sisters. And sisters. And honor others more. And honor others more. Than you do yourself. Than you do yourself. Romans 12, 10. Romans 12, 10. You know what? We are all one big family. We can love each other like brothers and sisters, and we can treat others like they are more important than we are. That's what God wants us to do. So now, would you like a cool treat? Yes! Yay! I'm going to use my shell phone to call Anu. He's a cool chameleon with some tasty treats. Hold your pretend shell phones like this. And when I count to three, let's all whisper, I knew. One, two, three. I, I knew. knew. Aloha, Ohana. If you can tell me what you learned on the island today, you can get a tasty snow cone. So let's get busy building your cool treat now. Tell me, did Ruth help or run away from Naomi? Help. Yes, Ruth stayed with Naomi and did all she could to help her because she loved her so much. 
Let's load up this first snowball with yummy syrup. Okay, now it's time for your next snowball and your next question. Did Boaz keep all of his grain to himself or did he share it? Shared it. You're right, Boaz knew that Ruth and Naomi needed help. He didn't keep all of his grain to himself, but Boaz put others first and shared it with Ruth and Naomi. Let's load up this snowball with some yummy syrup. It's looking delicious, but I think it needs one more scoop of ice. And you know what that means, one last question. Can you help your family by throwing toys or by cleaning your room? Cleaning your room. Yes, helping our families shows love to others and to God. God gave you the family you live with and your Ohana family to love and help. Now it's time to put the yummy syrup on this last snowball. This looks perfect. Only the best for my Ohana. Enjoy your snow cone. Aloha. Aloha, Anu. Thank you. Everyone grab your spoons. And let's eat up these snow cones. Mmm, so yummy. Did you like your cool treat from Anu, Ohana? Yes. Yay. I like to share a cool treat with you because you are my Ohana, my family. <laughs> I better get back to the front desk and help Lola out. But before I go, don't forget that God wants you to help your family, too. Say this after me one more time, okay? I can... I can... Help... Help... My family. My family. That's it. I had so much fun with you on the island today. I do hope you will come back to see me again next week. Aloha, Ohana.